precepts exist because people make errors in their action, their thought. There are five main precepts, um, which is killing, you know, obviously harm yourself, harm others, fault. And killing, going deeper, is hurting yourself, hurting others, considered an act of killing. You want to go more, more nuanced, more deep. Verbally hurting, because killing is physically hurting, right? In the in the most literal way, you use your knife and you use your gun and end people's life. And then, or, or this is a number one precepts, number one fault, which is big no no. But the one that we commonly commit might not be killing, literally, might be verbally hurting people, or making people annoyed, right? Which is on our fault. Like we're actually annoying them or actually irritating people. That's even lighter, but uh, in some sense, you know. So, 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 so the whole point of first karma is make no harm, harm, uh, do no harm. Trying to, you know, uh, let them be at ease around you. Trying to make people, um, not make people, trying to give them a uh, easy, and pleasing and um, easing uh, interaction with them. All right. Uh, and then number two is stealing. Stealing, obviously, you know, take what is not yours, deprive people of the possession of their hard earned money in cash or hard earned possession or even hard earned merits you want to expand. You know, steal people's merits. People work hard to create something original and very um, innovative, and then you steal their patents. And there are quite a few historical invention. They are actually not done by the the name person. It was only found out hundred years later, and everyone's like spitting at that name. One of the name apparently is Edison. I'm not sure if it's real or not. It's stolen from Tesla's work. So, no matter how well you hide it, your name will come out, either as a culprit or not, if you're stealing. So this is why you don't commit steal karma. Be earnest. Be 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 honest. You know you can't get there. It's fine. Assist the people who can get there, and you're also part of the merit. That's how it should work. Okay, you help people who know things. You don't try to steal their work and put it as yours. You may get all the glory and fame right now when you're leaving, if you have big enough fortune to carry on this. If you don't have enough, that's why I'm saying karma is important. If you don't have enough fortune to carry this, your name will come out while you're living. If you have big enough fortune, your name won't come out. You won't be exposed. But after you die, for a certain period of time, people will find out the truth. Eventually. It will not be covered forever. Nothing can be covered forever. Alright? And not to mention the karmic result on yourself if you're committing this act of stealing. So, um, beyond that, what is stealing that common people do? You know, we might not steal people's possession or anything. We might not steal the name, good name or credits of other people's work. But we may unintentionally take things without our permit, without permission. You know, um, there are exceptions. People who clearly will allow you, even then, still have a good practice. No one will, no one will say no. All right. If you're being polite, even you, if you're a good friend, close friend, or even a husband and wife level of relationship, if you still practice a certain level of, um, how to say, consideration. Say, um, maybe not, not in a way so like a stranger, but in like, hey honey, can I have the, can I have your stuff? Hey honey, can I? Hey dear, can I have your stuff? Hey babe, can I have this? Like even with that level of you know um, interaction. You still ask for permission to get their stuff. All right, they will love you more, and you love them more if they do that. Right? Going back to normal people interaction, even your best friend calls me, "Hey, bro, can I have this stuff?" And, sure, 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 take it, take it. You know, this this interaction is warm, right? Then you know, obviously you can you know play around and joke with that, and as long as they can accept it, I'm not saying that this thing, like this interaction, should be shunned. And like sometimes I did that, but um. The point is, uh, you know, it's always good to be polite. It's always good to ask for their opinion, ask for their 
uh, consider from their side uh, before you take their things. All right. Uh, or sometimes everyone has their own secret or there's, there's their own little private time. You need to respect it and you need to ask, hey, can I have this? Oh, can I have your stuff? Even simple stuff like pen or anything. Just like, hey, can I have your pen? No matter how close you are with them, practice this. Trust me, um, you'll find it easier to borrow things as well. People are like, hey, this guy will always ask for permission for things. He will def- he'll always return things after that. Sometimes give even more than you return. Now, we definitely get strict yes to that. Maybe in future you want to borrow money. They were, the bank was like, oh, it's fine. This guy's good. Give him uh, the one million loan. They can buy the house. Good record. So, what I'm trying to tell you is, what is right? What is wrong? In the most, our son Jama, li he high, just three guys, three 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 ground level. The ground level, the bottom line, you can see what is right and wrong is the benefit. What is is benefiting in long run, all right? And what is wrong is it's harmful in long run, all right? Not now, like sometimes you know you need to you need to like be be, be patient, all right? In long run, it actually helps you, all right? Because you are like that, you are genuine. You really respect people's opinion, respect people's possession. So that's why five precept can be very colorful if you put it in the right way. If people put it interpret it correctly that's up to us we need to present it properly we can't just say you know back uh keep it very literal it's it's obvious and who wants to listen to literal but you know we we start from there and then we're trying to make it to every day okay number three i mean that's what i'm saying today is just enough to contain this sentence the depth of it 